this podcast is uh, to describe some of the new evidence about what may be causing frontal fibrosing alopecia. FFA or frontal fibrosing alopecia is a type of scarring hair loss condition that's creeped up and been uh, noted since 1994 with increasing prevalence. It is uh, a scarring hair loss where you have this glistening white skin, the frontal hair is lost, you have these blood vessels you can see through the skin, the eyebrows thin out. It's a very sort of unusual looking pattern that has been increasing in incidence. Um, And uh, when it first was reported in 1994, we didn't really know what was causing it. We still don't 100% really know what's causing it. Uh, They've done some studies now that have looked at whether facial cosmetic um, uh, moisturizers, things like that could cause it, sunscreens. And so far, what they found is that there could possibly a link, be a link to sunscreen use. Um, and so I'm not trying to tell you not to use sunscreens because the incidence and the odds of getting this condition are very, very low. However, um, it, and is also very hard to treat. However, uh, what you can do, in my opinion, if you're really trying to minimize the risk of FFA, is apply sunscreen over your cheeks and lower face, um, where the risk is very low, I believe, and then uh, uh, wear a hat that covers up your forehead um, so that you don't need to apply um, sunscreen to the forehead. This may not prevent it. Uh, As I said, we don't 100% know what causes FFA, but there's definitely been an increasing trend toward it. Uh, Just finished lecturing in India where they said the incidence is actually quite low, and they attribute to the fact that they don't actually wear sunscreen. Um, There is no clear understanding if sunscreen is implicated in how sunscreens are or what kind of sunscreens. Are they the more chemical nature of sunscreens? Uh, But it also could be the fact that it's blocking uh, the ostea or the openings of the follicle, and just by virtue of that blockade, maybe um, exacerbating this type of unusual scarring hair loss. There was a case report where the um, woman, uh, this was a early during the time when they really hadn't even heard of the idea that sunscreens could be implicated, and she had a lot of therapies, injections, steroids, etc. And then once they thought about this, they said, let's stop the, the sunscreen. All of a sudden, the, the um, the conditions started to reverse and entirely restore back to normal. That is not always the case with FFA, um, but I think that uh, you know if you have FFA and you're using sunscreen, it's maybe one of the first things I would have you think about stopping. Um, obviously, work with your dermatologist. This is not meant to give you medical advice because I don't know your condition. I don't want anyone to misconstrue this as being this podcast being medical advice. This is just a general. Uh, concept. Um, But at the same time, you can explore that option and understand that. So if you have FFA or you're having some kind of unusual hair loss in the frontal um, portion of the scalp with thinning of the skin and thinning of the eyebrows in combination, and there's a high prevalence in women, although I've seen quite a few men with this as well, um, you may want to consult with your dermatologist first. um, And then also, if it is you're using sunscreen, uh, consider stopping it. But the problem for you listening to this podcast, you may think you have FFA and it's 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 relatively uncommon. It's common, but relatively uncommon. What's much more common is uh, just female and male pattern hair loss uh, in the front, as well as maybe traction hair loss in African-Americans where they pull it too tightly. But I think it's worth uh, just understanding some latest advances and understandings of what's happening with FFA.